A variant of the standard IM injection is called the Z-Track method. The difference here is that the skin and subcutaneous tissue are retracted on one side before inserting the needle. Once the liquid medication has been injected and the needle withdrawn, the retracted skin and tissue are released and slide back to their original positions, effectively sealing off the needle track from the liquid medications, which cannot leak back. In subcutaneous injections, the needle may be inserted into the subcutaneous tissue at 45 or 90 degree angles. The skin may be spread or pinched before inserting the needle and the angle adjusted to the degree of adiposity of the person being injected. For a subcutaneous injection, dependent upon a personal choice, agency policy, and type of medication, aspirate by pulling back on the plunger, and then slowly depress the plunger, injecting the solution into the subcutaneous layer. In a standard intramuscular injection, the needle is inserted at 90 degrees through the layers of the skin into the muscle layer beneath. Once the needle is in position, the nurse will pull back on the syringe plunger to ensure that the needle tip is not in a blood vessel. Then the nurse will depress the plunger slowly and the fluid medication will enter the muscle layer and form a liquid bubble at the tip of the needle. Once the needle is withdrawn, the bubble of liquid medication will start to be absorbed into the muscle blood capillaries and the bubble will gradually disappear. Yep. <clears throat> a variant of the standard IM injection is called the Z-Track method. The difference here is that the skin... In subcutaneous injections, the needle... A variant of the... step In a standard intramuscular injection... A variant of the... In subcutaneous injections, a variant... In a standard intramuscular injection...